Welcome to another video about Stream Deck. My name is Nico and today I will explain smart profiles. So for this to explain, I set up a Stream Deck Neo and we have a default profile and we have a profile for Visual Studio Code. And I sh will quickly show you how this looks like in the preferences. So the default profile is set as my standard profile. It's called default profile. And then I have a secondary profile and that is not a default profile and it is triggered with the um, program Visual Studio Code. You can select several different applications, pretty much anything that you have on your PC. And you just have to open um, the other option and then navigate to the path where the exe for um, that application is located and then click it here and then you will see there's an icon uh, representing the application and as soon as this is um, set that profile will activate as soon as the window for that application comes into focus and how this looks like I can show you one important thing to notice is that you need to close Stream Deck so it will work otherwise the Stream Deck application will have priority over the profile um, selection so therefore let's close stream deck and switch over so now i have a browser window and i have visual studio code here and you can see currently the browser is in focus and therefore my default profile is active as soon as i switch over to vs code i have my vs code profile active and if i switch back to the browser my default profile is back and this can be a very, very handy feature. So you can define profiles for a ton of applications that you require and always have the actions you need ready and available. Thank you very much for watching.